In this video, I want to talk about the sad truth that markets don't always trend. I know that's a shocker to most of you, but as we start trading the markets, we need to have the market move for us. We need to have it trend. And so what we do is we try to find times of the day when that happens. For me, the opening bell of the stock market is generally the best time to be trading to try and catch a market that likes to move and shake and trend. This morning, we were watching this market, and as you can see, we picked up this nice little trend right in here as this market started to fall. We come in here, and then the market started to go sideways. And and how do we know not to trade these types of trends out here in the future, as you can see, where the market just started to go sideways and whipsaw us to death? If you were to try and trade this, this would have killed you. So let me give you a little insight as to how we do this and how we go about determining when it's the right time to trade. First of all, we want to trade at a, you know, high volume time which is like the morning bell which is a nice time to pick up a, a nice little trend but once the market starts to die out like this how do we know it's time to stop well I want to introduce you to the DMI indicator we've talked about the DMI in other videos but I want to give you a but I want to highlight it here today just because it's such a perfect tool for this type of a market as you can see what we want to do is we want to we want to qualify and quantify these different types of trend opportunities with the DMI and the way we can do that is we come in here and we start looking for the opportunity setup just like we've been taught with the Heisenberg system. But with the DMI you can see that we have a threshold down here and I'm going to come over to the DMI indicator and you notice that we have this crimson line which is the DMI line. That's this red line right here. And then we have a threshold which is set at 25. That's the green bar across there. That green threshold line is the indication that if the crimson line is above that green line then it's okay to take trades. That means that this market is moving and shaking and the DMI indicator will also throw this pretty little little pink indicator here, this little arrow indicating that it's okay to take short positions in the market. This is why we can come in here with our Heisenberg setup system, our arrow from our bulls and bears, and our indication or our intercept order off of that blue light system right there for this next short position. This indication of the DMI that the market is moving and shaking and rallying is nice because the market's moving. You can see the DMI line came way up above the, the green threshold. And then it came in and it flipped over to the other side and said, hey, the market is still moving and shaking. You can go ahead and take some long positions as long as that red line is above the green threshold line. So we start looking for an opportunity to take a long position. Nothing comes along. The red line falls below the green, and so we're no longer able to take any long positions based on the DMI indicator. So now as we slide this market across, what we have to do is we have to wait for an opportunity to get back into the market. All of this time frame through here, all this sideways market, you can see the DMI is keeping us out of this narrow sideways channeling market, a terrible time to be in the market because you can see that the DMI red line is down below the green threshold. It started to rally up here a little bit, give us a little bit of indication that hey maybe something's gonna happen but then it died again. It wasn't quite good enough to to start pulling in a trade and so as you can see it kept us out of all this terrible market through here. We started to get a little bit excited here as we started getting a little limp uh, line started to rally but nothing happened here and so we stay out of all of this market in here. Hey we start to get a little bit of movement in here. The, the DMI gets a little excited for us and starts to come above the green line. We think we're gonna get into the market but nothing validates in here and this market continues to go sideways. And that's just a quick review of the mini Dow and an introduction to the DMI indicator. The number one question I get when people watch my videos is they want to know what software platform I'm using and what indicators I'm using. First and foremost, if you come to our website, TradeMentors.com, you'll notice that we have a section here called Tools for Traders. If you click on Tools for Traders, the software tools in here are listed. And you can see the recommended trading tools. We have the live trading platforms that we use. These are from Track and Trade, Track and Trade Live Futures, and Track and Trade Forex. If you click these more info buttons, you can find out more information about the platforms we're using. I also use a plug-in to the live futures version that is called the Bulls and Bears. That's the Bulls and Bears is what turns the price bars red, yellow, and green and gives me the Elliott Wave uh, blue light system. And so that's a plug-in into the live version of Track and Trade. And it works on both uh, the live futures as well as the live Forex. Now some research tools that we love and that we have here listed as well are the Trade Miner tools. This is Trade Miner for stocks, futures, and forex. This is one of the research tools that helps us identify the fundamental nature of markets. And then of course we have News Miner. News Miner is the current active uh, information, scours the internet, tells you what the current news is on any given stock, future, or forex, and then ranks them which ones or which markets are in play. 
So again, if you want to have a little bit of information about the tools that we use here at Trade Mentors, come to our website, www.tradementors.com, and click on the Tools for Traders button. Hi, my name is Lan Turner, and I'm the founder of Trade Mentors. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about how you too can participate in these fascinating markets, then click the big blue logo to subscribe to our YouTube channel.